Welcome back. Gina Vallian, General Manager of Troctus Flowers and Garden Center, and Paige Taylor, Floral Designer at Troctus. We're glad you all are here, and we want to talk today about wedding trends and summer planting. So you all, glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, you two are surrounded every day with all these beautiful, beautiful flowers. You just make people happy. I, are you all happy every day when you look at them? I mean, you just go, oh we my are. gosh. We Sometimes are. we see some designs that another designer <laughs> makes and I'm like, that's beautiful. That's mm -hmm. really pretty. And the flowers in the summer are beautiful. The garden roses, the hydrangeas peonies so well I mean you you create bouquets but you also create outdoor I mean you're planting outdoors all the time oh yeah outdoor plants I mean we just love to spruce up those pots on your front porch and and take care of everything outside um, you've got to remember just to water consistently right now because <laughs> it was super hot yesterday and really nice today so consistent water and um, a light mulch on everything in the flower beds to keep that moisture in there and then you know a, a nice water solu soluble um, plant food because everything wants to eat a little bit and then pinch them back a little bit right now so they'll all be pretty in the in the fall for you oh my gosh well so you also create scenes for parties you do all this stuff so what flowers are really trending for this summer well, you want me to take that one? Well, you take okay. that one. <laughs> so as far as weddings go and parties, you're either seeing lots of whites and blushes and light pinks and really soft colors and styles, or what I've seen a lot lately is they're bringing in some really deep uh, jewel tones, like purples, really? magentas, oh my eggplants, gosh, that's uh -huh. but they'll pair it with the blush colors. So mm -hmm. you have a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Oh so gosh, it's it's not just all white weddings anymore. Uh huh. Well, so and you all, are, you've got summer weddings. I'm yes, sure. we do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it takes everybody. I mean, when I go in there, I mean, you all have these bouquets everywhere. They're beautiful. Yes. You all. So that's kind of fun. Have you done any fun ones lately? That we have, and we have a couple of big ones coming up. Yeah, the big and a couple of big engagement parties that we're doing. Lots of pool floats and balloons and flowers and orchids and. Um, big flower arches around a door. Um, so how do you come up with these ideas? Lots of these girls are just bringing us, you know, pictures off Pinterest and things mm -hmm. like that, and then we just kind of brainstorm with them and, and make it their own. And, so. and do you have favorites? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And I have some that aren't my favorites, but, you know, that's what, it's their... Uh, it's their theme, it's their ideas, and, and we kind of try to, you know, after they bring in their idea, their picture, you know, we try to make it the best that it can be. Mm -hmm. But I really do love the really soft colors. Um, but I love the bouquet here that Todd made for us, and we added in some of the succulents. So you it is get, beautiful. Right, you get all the textures, mm -hmm. all the colors, all the types. and uh, well, What is in this beautiful bouquet? This that... bouquet has the pink celosia, the stock, uh, the veronicas, the purple, bridal veil, hydrangeas, queen anne's lace, and I really love the succulents. It is just marvelous, and they're your ribbons, and it's just beautiful. Thank you. And we thank you all. Every day we get to use your beautiful flowers for so parties welcome. extra. You're so welcome. Thanks, Gina, for that. Okay, so do you all grow most of these flowers that you? Well, in this bouquet, about uh, about a quarter of it came out mm -hmm. of our greenhouse. Mm -hmm. The the celosia, this little pink flower up front. Um, the succulents the, come. The, uh huh. Uh, some of the fillers come, and then Gina, you can talk about the other flowers <laughs> we grow, like the mums. The mums, and, and we're growing sunflowers and mm -hmm. celosia and. Different uh, greeneries that we use. You just put the mums in, didn't you? Yep, the the garden mums are just they just went down uh, just the other day, but the um, we've got a whole greenhouse full of sunflowers right now that are getting ready to come off. Um, the celosia um, and uh, dahlias, lots of pretty little dahlias coming. 
oh get ready gosh. to bloom. Well, so. these are all gorgeous. These are Thank so pretty. You. How many greenhouses do you have? There's 12 of them. Mm -hmm. We're over a city block long. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of different things, just not plants and flowers. There's lots of neat things in the gift store uh, up front. Chris and Kelsey have been doing a great job. She just Kelsey just found us a great candy line. What's that candy line called? Uh, Sugarfina. Which has tequila candies. <laughs> really? Uh, champagne candies. Right. Um, is it in there now? It's it is. A, oh, it's, wow. it's, a, it's for adults. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, so, kids can eat <laughs> some of them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there's samples there. You can come in and try them. Oh, my gosh. They're good for gifts. You, you have... You all, you have some very fabulous gifts. I mean, you've got your candy, you've got your, uh, I mean, you've got the flowers, of course. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And sometimes people send flowers and the candy, or flowers and you have stuffed animals. Right. You have, um, you know, my favorite, rocks and uh -huh. geodes and crystals. And, and candles. And, and candles. Yes. And the rocks that have words on them. Yes. My yes. favorites, all my favorites. That's right. And Chris found some really neat uh, cuckoo clocks that are chiming all the time and we've got a couple of local artists that are hanging some of their pictures in really? practice right now and a couple of um, out-of-state artists too so you need to come and see our artwork too oh my god so there's well, lots of things well, i that are, see i didn't go today so i missed the whole thing <laughs> you, <have to> go <laughs> back. you all brought your own flowers <laughs> and pretty they are Thank okay you. so so how do we keep our flowers blooming for the summer water consistently, mm -hmm. they need some food, and you need to cut them back and pinch them right now because they probably have gotten all that fresh rainwater and all that and they're kind of stretching right now and, and they might be looking a little scruffy. So if you pinch them back right now, they'll be pretty in about two weeks again and last all through the fall. So, that, so that's the good, those are really, I'm glad you said it again because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you need to water. I know. I, I, I hear you. Okay, and you've had several children's parties. Yes. In the, in the greenhouses, I guess. Oh, yes. It's, or it's new, all over. Is it all over the shop? It's really in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We've had three parties. Paige's was one of the best ones that, that we had. That was fun. Tell us about. Well, the mother's. I, it was the mother's idea. She wanted to have a succulent party where the girls come in. They had their pots, and we helped them, show them how to do it, and they all made their own individual, unique succulent pots. And then they tied ribbons around them, and they had little uh, of the gift mushrooms, and they put that in. And then they had their pizza and cake in the wedding room, and they loved it. And you had cupcakes that matched. Oh, yes, that's right. It was sucking like cupcakes. <laughs> yep. Michelle Handy, I think, did those. Uh -huh. So she's a wonderful cake artist. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, now that's pretty I know. Cute. It is cute. And the girls really loved it. So so, so anybody can call you? Anybody can call us. And if they want to have a, a little kid's party or a, a, a little, you know, tutorial. or Yeah, we'll, we'll be happy to. You all, a tutorial is very wise. And, wow. for, mm -hmm. uh, and you all said that um, while we were talking earlier that the um, term for the summer is organic. So tell yes. us a little bit about that. So what one person might mean organic and what we think organic could be different, but I think what they love is just the free form style that you might get from a greenhouse mm -hmm. or from flowers so in your garden. So they'll come in and say, we want something that looks organic. Right. So it, it looks as if maybe you gathered it on your own. Oh. Oh. And you just put it together. So it's not as styled. It's like wildflowers. Right. Wildflowers plus maybe. Roses. <laughs> uh, roses or sticks or mm -hmm. pods or. One of my favorite um, flower arrangements that you all did one time with sunflowers and roses. It yes. was beautiful, yes. you all. It was just, I, I, can, I can't even tell you how beautiful that was. Thank you. That was, and it was in a blue bay. It was just gorgeous. Thank you. So I think that's, that's what I hear more often than not is I really want it organic. So it's great because we have the greenhouse mm -hmm. to pull from. We have the rocks, we have the pods, we have the succulents, we have the pheasant feathers, mm -hmm. all kinds of grasses and greenery. So that's the, the theme I'm seeing a lot. So you all are looking forward to parties for the fall. That's yes, coming soon. Parties, parties. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Lots of things that are coming up. Um, people are wanting to, it to be a little cooler so they can go back outside. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. today's a great day, but um, 
tomorrow might be different. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they are planning their outside parties yes. of, to what what to do and and how to make things, you know, fresh and and a little bit different. So. Well, I'm, every time, I mean, every holiday, you all, I mean, it, you're covered with orders and and so people need to get their orders in, I think, for these mm -hmm. holidays yeah. already. So lots of people are thinking about Christmas and uh, lots of of fall weddings. Fall weddings. Mm -hmm. Fall weddings. Yes. Phone calls for mm -hmm. October, September, November, and December. So. so what are some new trends for the fall? Well, I think it's the same. I think it's that real deep magenta, eggplant, plum, but then they won't go all that color. They bring in very, very light pink, very, very soft. So they have a little bit of both. So it's not just a rustic type of uh, countryside wedding. They make it elegant too. Mm -hmm. So, And I think I've asked you all before, what are your favorite flowers? And really, what you are your first. favorite? But, but you're very, you're very heart felt favorites. Um, probably in the summer, I love geraniums mm -hmm. um, and marigolds in your pots and stuff, and salvia. Um, those are probably some of my favorites. And then any tree that blooms, <laughs> I love, I love, or any neat leaf on a tree. So hibiscus, I always think. Yeah, hibiscus those is, are beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I love the hibiscus when they quit blooming and they have the pod in the middle, mm -hmm. um, the hardy hibiscus, how that pod's there. I think those are really neat. And I have some least favorite ones too. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there today. Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about the positive. Um, I love a high petal count flower, like a peony or a garden rose. A high petal count? Yes. That's, that's kind of like that. And a ranunculus. Uh -huh. They're very uh, thick. I like They're very, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are my favorite. Colors? What colors I just love pink oh I'm probably more um, purples and and whites and creams and ivories and that Those are, well, I mean, well I mean you can't go wrong they're everything do you have any gardenias in, in there there are some gardenia plants mm -hmm. big gardenia trees that are in there and those they've got some saucer they're they're about the size of a saucer mm -hmm. and the gardenias are, are beautiful and if you do come in you need to talk to Kelsey about her gardenia plant mm -hmm. she's got one on her porch that I think she counted the other day that had nine blooms on it oh, oh my gosh no, I mean I love I love to grow them I used to be mm -hmm. really I but I had a spot for them that they uh -huh. liked you have to you have to have a spot do. and they don't mm -hmm. want to be left alone mm -hmm. and you, they don't like you to go on vacation for very long <laughs> <laughs> so they are a little high maintenance <laughs> what about other plants Gina um you know, things that are moving out of the greenhouse a lot are, are um, the arrowhead ivies, the succulents. I mean, succulents have been around for a good couple of years going really strong. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I've, I've started seeing people go back to more form things, topiaries. Um, oh, we had a, really? a, a little, another little kids party and they made topiaries with a uh, taking some ivy, growing up it on, on a ring, mm -hmm. and then they hung a little something on the top oh, of the cute. ring. And it was... Uh, That's really cute. Mm -hmm. It was a, a little boy's party, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, they had some trucks and all kinds of things, and these kids put them in their rooms when they got home. Uh -huh. There was lots of rocks and, and stuff <laughs> like that. So um, that was a really <laughs> neat thing that was going out. Mm -hmm. um, but other things, I mean, the... The greenhouse, we're having a great sale right now on, on some bedding plants, so if anything hasn't done really well in your yard that you need to fill in, mm -hmm. now's a great time to, to come and pick it up um, because we've got to clean those houses out and get ready for fall and poinsettias and everything else that comes along with that. You all do a fabulous job on people's pots and yards and things. I mean, that you really, I mean, they, the ones I see that you've done, I just go, oh my gosh, that just looks fabulous. There is a different look with troctas. I mean, you can mm -hmm. you can tell our work mm -hmm. from from others. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really really good. So okay. Well, anything else you want to say about weddings? I mean, if people need it's just, if they yes. want to book their weddings, what do they just do? Just call. We'll set up an appointment. They come in right away. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it depends on you know if it, if you're wanting to get married in the fall, definitely call now. Um, but you know they'll call. We'll set up an appointment. They bring in any pictures, colors of things they like 
it helps a picture's worth a thousand <laughs> words. So mm -hmm. uh, it just kind of gives you an idea. And then we kind of build on that. Um, but yeah, call, you ask all for do me. Cakes, I mean, you decorate mm -hmm. cakes. Oh, absolutely. Flowers, you put flowers on we cakes. We put flowers on cakes. We'll put cakes on flowers. <laughs> 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 on a big bed of flowers, yeah. So we'll put an arch over a cake. <laughs> we'll do anything, yeah. But. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're having some Facebook and Instagram specials, so giving away birdhouses and hammocks mm -hmm. and um, all things for the yard. So we're having Saturday specials. So tell we, us your website too. Uh, it's at troctusflyers.com mm -hmm. and or just follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, troctus. And um, Chris is posting a lot of things, and you, there's lots of freebies out right. there too. Mm -hmm. Wow! So good. Well, that's good news. So tell us your phone number and your hours. We are uh, at 63rd and Broadway Extension, um, right next to uh, a funeral home, mm -hmm. and um, we were there before the funeral home was. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, our hours are eight to five, but mm -hmm. we're usually there before 7:30. So you can call early. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we close early on Saturdays at four. Um, closed on Sundays, but um, just look us up and come by. Um, and everybody's always so gracious when you do come in. You all, I mean, the, you've, you've got, got a great friendly staff. Uh -huh. You have uh, friendly growers. I mean, the, everybody in the green, everybody that's work, they're all working. Yeah, it's working very, very hard. And a lot of people are afraid to go in the back green or just to go to the greenhouse and we're like no you can go you can walk around you can go and please look. go back please there. go back it's, it's you have big hanging baskets yes, everywhere too. yes there's are a you, lot to see yeah. there's mm -hmm. a lot of places you can walk around uh -huh. and there's lots lots to look at mm -hmm. okay well anything else you want to say that um to our viewers that just come in and see us thank you for your support <laughs> yeah keep coming in <laughs> well we always feel very happy after a visit to Troctus. there are such glorious flower arrangements going on there gina we are also thankful to have flowers every friday for parties extra thank you so much for, for providing them for the oklahoman come back anytime to tell us what you're growing thank you thank you very thank much. you